The Abandoned Mine Land program has been uh, very successful and very important to many states in uh, mitigating public health impacts from mining activities. Wyoming's land is very diverse. I mean, it uh, varies throughout the state. A lot of the land is public ground, BLM or Forest Service, and that's something that's really cherished by the people that live here. You always hear that America is uh, a melting pot, and Pennsylvania, being one of the first uh, colonies and then states, uh, is a prime example of that. Statewide, I mean, we're a very diverse group of people with, from all walks of life and all cultures. Wyoming's people are down to earth. They're very independent. They're proud of living in their state. They're proud of the history, the heritage. They're proud of the resources we have here. And they love the outdoors, and they love public ground. Pennsylvania literally means Penn's Woods, and most of Pennsylvania consists of forested hills and mountains uh, with some broad river valleys. Uh, we have a lot of farms in Pennsylvania as well. We also have some major metropolitan areas. Prior to passage of the Surface Mine Control and Reclamation Act in 1977, Pennsylvania had mines operating for nearly 200 years with little to no regulation. As a result of all that mining, Pennsylvania has the largest inventory of abandoned mine land problems in the nation. Different states face different challenges. So uh, even though Pennsylvania, say, versus Wyoming may have had different mining impacts, uh, we learn from each other. As urban sprawl continues out closer to the areas that were mined, over time, we continue to identify new abandoned mine features that we weren't aware of. There have been many homes, buildings, highways, and other infrastructure built over those mines. Those can experience significant mine subsidence issues. I think the biggest threat really has to do with the underground coal mining that's throughout the state in a number of regions. And what we're finding is we get calls from homeowners. We go and look, and the foundations are cracking. And next thing we do, we pull out the mine map and look and see. and. You know, lo and behold, they developed over an old mine working. The Wyoming AML programs addressed a lot of the hazards in the state through reclamation, and a lot of the hazards through the state through drilling and grouting. And I think we're starting to, uh, to bloom when it comes to how do you address the subsidence issues that we have from coal mining. All the land we've reclaimed uh, under the AML program and the waters we've restored support a, a very healthy hunting and fishing activity here in Pennsylvania. So uh, we have a lot of sportsmen in this state. Although Wyoming has enjoyed great success with its abandoned mine lands program in reclaiming uh, historic mine sites, there's more to be done. And we continue to find new sites annually and, and reclaim those sites before they do become a public hazard. One of the biggest to-dos here in Pennsylvania is acid mine drainage, uh, also known as AMD. Multiple flooded mines in the area that would potentially flood the local town discharge here, which obviously is polluting the creek. One of the biggest challenges with treating acid mine drainage is that you have to have a commitment first to construct that and annual operation and maintenance, which can get very costly. Pennsylvania still has over 100,000 acres of abandoned mine land that needs to be addressed. In addition to just the surface land that's impacted, we have thousands of abandoned underground mines that have structures and roads and highways and schools built on top of them that may also experience subsidence at some point in the future. When we're doing this drilling in amongst uh, subdivisions, infrastructure, um, you know, the uh, power lines, gas lines, all that stuff, we're finding some serious problems. And when we find them, we address them right away. If they're serious enough, we don't just put them on the inventory, we take care of them right now. As we look to the future of the Abandoned Mine Land Program, it's, I think it's very important that as states that we work together uh, to benefit from the experiences that we've all had and become more efficient and uh, improve our technologies in, in how we not only identify new sites, but then how do we remediate those sites moving forward.
With technology the way it is today, we are able to handle so much more. It has allowed us to do more complex designs. Before, we had straight slopes with the V-ditches to catch the water. And while it does work, it doesn't allow for vegetation growth. Using natural regrade, we're able to create surfaces that mimic uh, natural surfaces. So the end result is a surface that is nearly identical to what you see in nature. Collaboration is the real key to success. These partnerships uh, certainly bring a lot more people to the table with good ideas and allow us to do a lot more work uh, with uh, our limited resources and funding could do on their own. The professional alliances, such as the National Association of Abandoned Mine Lands programs, allows for a good opportunity for different perspectives and discussions of different issues with other states. This also provides an opportunity for the states to work together with one united voice, such that if there are any issues or mandates, we can work together to have that one voice to address those and how it will affect our AML programs. We are constantly uh, exchanging information, ideas, technology, data with those other states and tribes. Uh, Pennsylvania and Wyoming are very close um, because we've worked together and, and got a lot accomplished in this national association. Working together with Wyoming allows us to speak with a common voice that we're all in this together and we all support reclamation of all the abandoned mine lands located in all the states across the country. It's important that we continue the dialogue and the collaboration amongst the states because we can learn from each other, we can gain from the experiences that uh, are unique to each of our own states, uh, but in the end we need to stand together, work together and collaborate because it's very clear that there's more work to be done.